Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snokus, and this is another episode of our Endless Space uh, Let's Play. We're playing as the Sofans, and that weird sound in the background, I guess, um, some slimy space slug flying around in our headsets. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's keep going here. Uh, right, as I said, Imnos fr freaking exploded in. Um, as I said in the last episode, um, you might not remember, um, Imnos just exploded in um, every way. They got another uh, level of development, they ex um, colonized two other planets, and so on and so forth. So hopefully the output here should be much larger. They're already at um, a 100 industrial, compared to our capital, which is 186. So that's fantastic. Um, I suppose we should save up our money since we aren't using it to anything else, for anything else. Um, to maybe when we are up only at uh, 15 turns left we could um, buy out the rest. Because we really do want to get that... Uh, this wonder, it's quite good. Uh, but we'll see if we can actually do it first. I think we are the leader, but because I think we are at, I think we are, I think we are at forty-four percent, and that was the leader. But saying that, I'm not sure if this um, progression <coughs> progression bar progress bar uh, refers to our empire, where it's universal, as in which empire has gone gone furthest. Regardless, um, there are, there isn't so far um, to go, so that should be fine. Hey, and Oshi finally turned into a proper colony here. Under siege, of course. And we fi we, we finished... Um, we finished um, Gamma Absorption. Cool. And that's done. And... Um, Okay, an event. Uh, a cabal of a cabal, cabal uh, of scientists and visionaries from a prominent research group, Think Tank, have come forward to your government promising to deliver the dream of a utopian society. They've created a vast super AI that can watch and learn from all, and believe that all will benefit from its scrutiny. Like many who have come up with ideas to fix society, their dream is riddled with their own biases and hang-ups, including believing that life isn't worth living without a dependable chain of... Um, Caffeine, caffeine bars, okay, uh, featuring semi-designer furnishing and exotic mood music. The fact that the vision of a perfect society also involves mandatory science fun means that although your citizens will become more rational, they will won't be as pliant. A more popular, less scientific, beneficial move would be to ignore them. Okay, so we can either embrace them and gain extra science, not a lot of science, but still extra science, uh, 15 turns and lose influence. Um, or do the opposite. I think as we're gonna re reject them, both because I think we should boost the industrial political ide ideology. Having a strong industrial uh, party is actually quite beneficial, uh, I think. Um, so I think we should do that. And also, extra influence is really good, while losing just 10 signs isn't really that bad. So uh, go home, hippies, we don't want you. Okay, so um, let's keep going in this direction. Can we develop this anymore? Doesn't seem like it. Um, saying that, we never did this. And as you can see, we've uh, we've actually unlocked three more modules here, four more modules. So they, this should be good. Um, before. We had um, basic plating, so let's get some shields, and actually let's get some more shields. So now we have... Um, a com cumulative, cumulative health bonus of 60, um, shields of 240, and general hull absorption is only 10%. So that's it's not a huge amount, but we also gain extra health. By this, we might do this, but this as well. Okay, so maybe I changed my mind. We're actually gonna get exchange one of the 
Christ. We're actually gonna exchange one of the, um, as I did, one of the shield generators for a, for another uh, reactive plating. Don't know what this is for. I guess anything could be here. I mean, why not? Um, now we're gonna gain 15 science per per destroyed command point on. I guess I'm guessing the enemy fleet. Hopefully, um, yeah. Otherwise, it should say lost. I'm guessing. Um, other than that, we could get projectile damage. Not really our. Um, I mean, this is energy. Uh, we could get a projectile weapon if we wanted to. Um, instead, we could get some extra evasion. Right now, our evasion is. Can we see that anywhere? Shield absorption, shield capacity, health. Where is um, Can't really see it. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, still though, maybe um, movement points isn't that important. Let's go for uh, simply a, a health bonus and a repair of the battle. I think that might be better. Let's apply that. Uh, can we... I do want to retrofit pretty much all of our fleets, but we can't right now. We have a fleet ready here. You are going to... We have one going to Menace. Let's hold off on Grafias for now. Let's uh, headline it for Yonder. Right now. Because we do want this um, antimatter. Right. Forgot about this. Uh, we are going to buy some antimatter. We can't do it. I guess you can't actually build stuff. Yeah, build. Uh, I'm guessing you can't actually buy... Buy stuff then, I guess. You can only sell. Is that true? Seems a bit shit, if that's the case. Uh, antimatter. Hey! I probably could have bought it before then. Okay, there isn't a lot out on the market though, so that might be why. Anything that is selling very high right now, we could sell um, a lot of um, Hyperion, and that is exactly what we're going to do. A lot of money right there. And in luxury if we want to sell, probably not. Okay. Alright, let's, um, let's see here. Market-wide price increase. So that, that's a good time for us to sell, as we did. Right, we never started the uh, constructions here in our new call name, so let's do that. Um, I'm actually gonna buy out some of these um, these things right away, I think. Um, this is quite cheap, so let's buy that as well. Let's get this, and science, 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 money, money and science. Alright, let's go. Let's end the turn. Eels more trustworthy than you. So, so why? I'm a bit confounded here. Why did she, <laughs> why did she have an attitude when she feels safe towards us? Um, and and everything else. What, what the hell? Like the Empire will not tolerate this. Okay, I really don't care, frankly. Um, a new election is coming up, and the military is actually kind of rivaling uh, the scientists. I never thought that would happen. All right, cool. Uh, anything else? Let's see where everyone is going. Nothing really happened here. 
something we need. We need to build another incubator and colonize Wentho once and for all. We need those space spuds, man. Super spuds. Sorry, I'm not I'm not Irish, so. Um Hey, we finished this quest. Okay, so now we got we got another uh, quest here. We need to defend uh, guard radiance for sixteen turns. Let's just say. Um, we gain some sovans. Where is our fleet? It's down here. Right, fuck. Let's try to intercept this kidnapper vessel again, and after we've done that, we're gonna try to defend the system that the, qu the other quest was about. Uh, what are you doing? You're explorers, okay. Uh, anything else? We've got some an incubator here, just waiting. You're gonna colonize. We're gonna colonize menus 4. And we're gonna spend some money to speed that up. We do have more than enough money to throw around, so uh, why not? And now we're getting to the portion of the game where a big risk factor is enemy factions moving in to take uh, our... We gained a Calderos, nice. The Empire will not Col tolerate. Colonize. Where, where the hell is the Empire even? I'm, I'm no idea. This is the money guys, this is the hive guys, and this is the Voidborn or whatever they were called. So, I can't even see the Empire. Um, so we kind of want to shore up our borders, maybe even close them towards both the Empire, I guess, and toward um, these guys. I should do that. Uh, anything else going on? I guess this guy is going over here. Let's start by going here. You are gonna auto explore. Right, so let's close the borders towards you. We, are we can't actually, it costs a whole lot. We're gonna do that as soon as we can though. We don't want them to colonize anywhere in our territory. Um, you're gonna have open borders with these guys, maybe even start an alliance if we can eventually. We're gaining no influence. That's weird. Why is that? Finally. Now let's finish off this quest. Let's out to uh, resolve it. I mean, all of the all of the battles are out resolvable, but let's not watch it. And that's done. And what? What? We intercept. Maybe we weren't supposed to attack it. I guess. What's your quest? You want us to... Uh, okay, we are working on that. You want us to... Okay, so you want that. What's your quest? You want us to... <clears throat> explore ruins. Um... We were colonizing ruin, ruins before. Yeah. You know what? Uh, those quests are gonna resolve themselves when, when they are well uh, able to, I guess. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna take our military fleet here. We're gonna place ourselves in yonder, both to safeguard our colony ship and also to put them on defend here, so that if anyone goes in here is gonna have to fight them to get through here. I know that. They can still travel to our territories going, um, flying. 
going without having to follow the hyperlanes, but still, we do want... Um, the hyperlanes are the, um, the largest risk factor, so... Put you on defense. You are, haven't really reached uh, yonder yet. Anyone else? Everything seems fine. Okay, so let's um, keep going. Okay, it's an election. And um, let's see how it went. A lot of science, military gained some, pacifists gained some. Nothing huge. Right, cool. Alright, um, a brilliant inventor from the Megras system has created a wondrous, wondrous piece of technology, a neural device that allows one to temporar temporarily control the thoughts and actions of another. Unfortunately, the inventor only created one, and he apparently passed away shortly after testing it for the first time. There is a bit of hullabaloo, hullabaloo uh, over what to do with the device now. Can you de uh, destroy it and gain some approval, or we can gain 100% experience for 10 turns on hero. So let's do that because we do have a hero on Megrez, which is our capital. Alright, um, actually, I've decided against this. We're going to Radiance to finish this quest. It's gonna take 8 turns to get there. Um, you are gonna start the colonization process. Four planets. Uh, of which we can colonize three. Let's go with this one because it has some industrial and also the most amount of uh, food. Let's spend some money to speed it up. What just happened? Okay, so I guess they are um, angry because we just uh, created a border with them. Um, and for that reason we should create another fleet, I think. So let's get to another two uh, accelerators and another two um, uh, magnets. Holy shit, this research, research is gonna go by real quickly here now. But that's good, that means we can focus on some other researches um, and uh, some other technologies. We do need more hulls and more weapons and uh, weapon modules. We don't really have a lot right now, we only have the basic stuff. And we should try to uh, fix that. Alright, cool. Cool. Um, we found another enclave of uh, pilgrims, it seems. That's nice. And they were immediately uh, assimilated by, by the AI. Alright, uh, the tense political rivalry between militarism and pacifism in the cancer system has risen to emergency levels. The militarist faction has ordered the construction of an intricate system spanning barricade between the cancer's inner and outer planets. Intrasystem movement has been severely restricted and many citizens have been cut off from their families and friends. The pacifists' inner planets have petitioned you for help. So we can either get an extra production on cancer, an extra, some extra influence on cancer, and 
a chance of creating a major uh, political crisis, or we can lose some industrial, gain approval, and gain some pacifism. I think we're going to do this because I, I do want to scale down the military's political ideology and make sure that scientists, the scientist party is always the leading party. Uh, okay. All right. Well, uh, let's retreat. I mean, it's not much we can do, really. Lost ship. Oh well. We lost ship before. We're gonna lose ships in the future as well. Another five turns until we get this uh, wonder done. Okay, so we've got another um, another hero ready. Let's deal with this soon. I, I want to do this first. Um, Not what I meant to do. Uh, want to? What's this? That's what I wanted to do. And let's go the usual route. Right, already 20 minutes. Hey! Uh, so I'm gonna ha have to end the episode here. <laughs> Time just flies by playing this. Hope you enjoy watching this as much as I uh, enjoy playing it. Hopefully you want to see more of this. And if you do, please leave a like so I, I, so I know that you like this series and this game. And the way I play it. And uh, leave, leave any suggestions if you want me to play anything else. Or if you think I'm playing badly and want to do something differently or something. Uh, consider subscribing if you want to see this uh, Let's Play pop up in your inbox there in your subscription feed and uh, just to support me generally. And yeah, other than that, hopefully you'll uh, have a nice day and otherwise I'll uh, see you next time. Bye bye bye.